hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you how you can create a wordpress website on bluehost so before starting this step by step guide let me show you how much money you need actually to create a wordpress website now the very first thing we need to create a website is a domain name now domain name is nothing but the address of the website and after getting the domain name you need a web hosting plan where you will uh host that particular domain name and website files so that whenever somebody will type your domain name in internet or in a web browser then those websites file or your website will load in that browser okay so domain name and web hosting plan are the two important things where you have to spend some money and for theme and plugins we are not going to use any plugin as a beginner and again domain name and hosting we can combine if we go with the hosting plan like bluehost or hostinger so that means the total cost will come around the money you are spending only for web hosting plan for the first year okay now this is the simplest thing we can do or this is the minimum amount we have to pay if we want to start a blog or website on wordpress that if you want to start a website your first website whether it's a business website whether it's a blog whether it's a uh, like e-commerce website there are a lot of things available for free to use within wordpress community that you should know and if you know these things you just have to spend money for hosting plan you just have to spend money to buy a good hosting that's it and remaining things you can learn and set up your own now to begin with what you can do you can simply check the description of this video and click the link of the special bluehost pricing link and then official bluehost website now bluehost offers various types of web hosting plans so right now we will be focusing on wordpress hosting plans only okay so what you can do you can simply uh, like go to wordpress hosting or else you can go to hosting and shared hosting plans also both are same only but uh, as we are creating a blog with the help of wordpress so it is better to go for the wordpress hosting simply click on wordpress hosting now simply scroll down and you will see that bluehost is offering uh, three uh, basic plans or you can say the beginners plan and there is one pro plan which is for professionals with managed wordpress service so we are not talking so we'll not talk much about this plan okay now we have basic plus and choice plus plan in one of my videos i have explained in detail which bluehost plan is best for you but right now i'm not going to go in much detail i'll simply choose the basic plan so that i can explain the process and make you understand how easy it is to create a wordpress blog on bluehost so simply we'll select this particular plan now this plan is a one website plan i personally do not uh, recommend this plan but again if you want to start with a single domain only and then if you have uh, plan to create multiple websites on that particular domain like uh, creating subdomain then definitely you can go with this plan other than that if you want to host multiple domains more than one domain then definitely go with the choice plus plan anyway now in the next screen we can see that it is asking us to choose a domain name now bluehost offers a free domain name so whenever you are buying hosting from bluehost for the first year you can save the first year domain charge which is which will be almost 15 dollar so let me choose a domain name so i some uh, so i simply uh, kept this name my wb tutorials 101.com let me see whether it's available or not yeah so you can see that this domain name is available now if it is not available then they, it will show you the message that it is not available you have to look for the domain name that you are looking for now i would recommend you to choose the dot com domain only now sometimes what happens whatever is your preferred domain name or website address you may not get the dot com options in that case i'll say that do some more research and try to find out a unique name where the dot com uh, like extension is available in many cases you uh, may find that there is some premium domain uh, which will cost you more than lakhs or like thousands of dollars so on those cases you may go for other extension but i would say it is better to go for a unique name and try to find out the dot com options because that is the most suitable option for any domain name okay now so my wp tutorials 101.com is available so what we will do we'll simply scroll down and here you have to provide all the like details of your like your personal name last name country everything you just have to provide scroll down so here you can see the details of the pricing so it will cost you only 35.40 dollar primary domain registration is free let's encrypt the ssl certificate is also free simply we need to scroll down domain privacy not required you can right now you can turn it off then site lock security not required okay so you can see that the entire amount is coming as 35.40 now i just take my cursor here and there and this particular pop up appear now this pop up will come to give you more discount you can see that the price has reduced to 2.65 per month now let me claim the savings if this pop up 
doesn't appear in your case you simply take the cursor here and there or open a new tab and come back then you will see the pop-up will appear again okay now let me scroll down below so you can see that the particular price has been reduced now if you go for 36 month the price will be applicable 2.65 if i click on 36 month then the price will be 95.40 dollar it is a very very cheap for next three years you just have to pay 100 dollar for your web hosting company for one website now if you want to purchase for uh, 12 months you can go for 12 months also but remember that there will be renewal charge with the actual price whatever you can see in the website now simply scroll down and you, you can see that domain privacy protection is also free now simply click this so you can avail the domain privacy protection also okay simply provide the payment details and you just have to come here and click the submit button as soon as you click the submit button your purchase will be complete and whatever email address you have provided in that email address you will get all the information related to your bluehost cpanel login or you related to bluehost web hosting area login okay now next what you have to do we have to log into this particular website my.bluehost.com now as soon as you log into this or type this website it will ask you to provide the user id and password so that will be the user id of the password that you have shared or created uh, when you provided your personal information okay you can see the email address you provided in that email address you will find all those details now as soon as you log into this page initially uh, when you log in for the first time you will not see this kind of a screen it may be a screen where it will ask you to create a website i'll say you can skip the entire things because instead of installing wordpress on your blog or website it is better to go or follow the manual process that way you can learn better and you have the much more control okay now so from this page what we have to do now we will try to install wordpress on our website so simply we'll go to the my sites option and from this page you will see there is a button called create site so i'll simply click on create site create a new wordpress site okay so simply delicious so the site so there are two things site name and site tag tagline so let's provide the site name so site name will be so let's say all wordpress tutorials for beginners okay so, so let's say and the tagline is let's say all wordpress tutorials for beginners so whatever is the website you have or the domain you have purchased as per the category you can provide the site name and the site tagline don't worry you can change these details later on also that's not a problem but right now we can provide something to continue okay now before clicking on the next button we have to make sure we need to click this advanced option now in this advanced option what will happen so by default whatever email id you have used to log into your bluehost.com domain so they will consider those things and uh, like automatically create your admin username and your admin password but that is not recommended i will say you provide uh, your specific email address you provide your specific username and then provide a very strong password and then only you click the next button okay by default you may not notice this option and click on next button so automatically internally it will take care of those things so what i'll do i'll simply provide these details as per like uh, my requirement and then i'll click on the next button so as soon as i click on the next button i will be reaching on this particular page now in this page we have to choose the domain name where exactly we want to install wordpress so let me uh, choose the domain name so i have selected the domain name wbtutorials101.com so if you have only one domain in your hosting so there will be one domain only if there are multiples you will see there are many other domains listed here okay and the directory uh, just keep it uh, empty only otherwise what will happen your wordpress is not going to install on your root domain rather than particular directory whatever you provide let's say if you provide here uh, uh, 123 so it will be like wbtutorials101.com slash 123 slash within that one two three slash the wordpress is going to install so that is what we do not want a here and the next option by default bluehost will try to install couple of uh, plugins because this is a optimized wordpress hosting plan so definitely bluehost will try to help you to optimize your wordpress website but right now we are going to untick them we can install them manually later on also and i will be creating more videos on those like what plugins you need how to install those plugins and different different other videos so right now we will simply untick all those options next we'll click on this next button and you can see that uh, your website is getting ready wordpress is getting installed within your domain name so just wait for a few seconds so right now it is asking me some things we are updating your home page what's the main purpose of wb tutorials so here bluehost will help you 
to create the website also so what kind of website you are going to create so let's say you if you are creating a blog so they will like i think they will put some template or something and they will design that website so you can select that uh, whether if it is a store then definitely i think they will be installing some e-commerce plugin internally if it is a business they will install some business specific themes so other than that choose from the list below so here you can see that there are different types of websites are there so definitely i'm sure based on the category they will install some theme and try to do some internal setup so that setup i'm going to do my own only okay so i'll simply click on skip this step and that's it you can see that our wordpress has been installed on our domain name so so initially when we install wordpress on our domain name on bluehost by default the ssl certificate will not installed immediately sometimes what will happen uh, if you give some time automatically internally it will install but sometimes it will not install automatically so what we can do so for that we can install ssl certificate manually also and for that we have to use the bluehost cpanel access so right now we are within our bluehost cpanel access so in that we have to click my sites option and simply click on manage site for that particular domain where you want to install ssl certificate now as soon as you click on manage site you will be entered into the like dashboard of your like uh, uh, particular website within bluehost cpanel now in that you, you will see there is something called security so click on security and the first option itself is ssl certificate let's encrypt so it's like on enforce https that is also on in my case what happened automatically bluehost internally installed ssl certificate otherwise what will happen you have to click this option on if it is not on you have to click this option on and it will take some time to install the ssl certificate on your domain now if i refresh this page you will see not secure option should remove so you can see that you can see https option has come so that's how you have to install ssl certificate now now after installing ssl certificate through bluehost cpanel we have to go to our website we have to go to our or log into our wordpress dashboard so first of all what you need to do you just simply go to the post section So you will see there is a default post hello world post is there so this is a dummy post if i open it for you so you can see that this is a dummy post there is nothing there so what we need to do simply select bulk action move to trash apply we need to delete this post okay so we have removed this post next we need to go to the categories so in the categories you will see that there is a default category uncategorized and you cannot delete that particular category so what you need to do you have to rename that particular category so let's say i'll simply type edit i'll say wordpress so i know that in my website there will be a category called wordpress so that's why the default category i have changed as wordpress okay whatever is your default category you can put like change the name as it is next what we'll do we'll go to the pages and you will see there is a privacy policy page which is on draft so i'll talk about it later but there is another page called sample page let's open this page so you can see this is an example page so this is also a dummy page so what we can do we also have to delete this page also either you select from here or you can click the trash option so we have deleted the unnecessary page also okay now next we'll go to the comment section so there is no comment because we have deleted that post so there was a dummy com comment so that comment has also deleted automatically now next we'll go to appearance and themes so by default you can see the 2022 theme has been automatically installed and there are few other themes which are automatically installed in wordpress okay so what we can do you can simply remove these things simply click on it delete okay so we have only one theme in the theme section okay next come down and come to plugins install plugins and here we have to search for a new plugin called ssl press enter so the first plugin is really simple ssl so simply install that plugin the plugin is installed now simply come down and activate ssl so what this plugin will do or why exactly we have installed this plugin is whenever we are installing ssl from our web hosting plans actually those are free ssl certificates they are not paid ssl certificates okay so they are not 100 percent secure or they are not applied 100 percent throughout the website so on top of that if you install this really simple ssl plugin 
it will make sure that everywhere the https has been applied in your website whether it's an image whether it's a simple file whether it's a page post everywhere now here what we have to do we have to see deactivate bluehost plugin because this is not required by default whenever you install wordpress on any domain link with bluehost they will automatically install these plugins and try to set up your website in an optimized way okay so i am going to remove all of this use seo also right now i'll deactivate it okay so you should not like keep unnecessary plugins on your website because this will slow down your entire website so i'll select everything i'll not uninstall really simple ssl plugin is really required okay and then i'll simply click delete so we have deleted all the unnecessary plugins now if i go to the dashboard you can see that all the unnecessary stuffs in the left side has been already removed okay next important thing is permalinks and this is very very important the permalink will tell the web your website url structure now your url structure by default it can be like this it can be like this you can see the year month and day is also coming in the sample post it can be like this it can be like this so by default it is better to choose post like this sample post if you want to create a custom structure like including category and all you can choose this one and from these options you can create your own post but as a best practice it is better to select the post name and click on save changes so this is the most neat and clean permalink structure for wordpress and it's highly seo friendly also okay so you can see that this is now a neat and clean dashboard okay so in this area you will get all the notifications so let me dismiss few notification so right now our website has uh, you can say nothing uh, there is no post there is no page nothing so okay by default there will be some post uh, let me show you that also so if i go to the website visit site so it's a simply the coming soon page is still coming um, but if you go to the post page you will see there is a dummy post so there is a hello world dummy post okay so you can see a post like this okay so we do not need them so this is the first step what we have to do we have to delete all the unnecessary things simply trash them okay so these are the couple of settings initially you have to do now what we need to do we need to install a wordpress theme on our website now simply go to the appearance area click on themes because right now our website is looking like this coming soon page okay simply click on add new option you can see there are so many themes almost 5220 themes are available so you can also search theme as per your like uh, website category for example let's say let me search with cooking so you can see that there are some like uh, food blog related themes has also come okay so any any theme what, whatever you like you simply you can install that theme and you can do the customization so right now for this tutorial what we will do we'll try to pick a theme okay so let me scroll down uh, there are a couple of recommended things that uh, like uh, if you want a simple blog layout or a content written like theme then i'd recommend you to go for generate press you can go with astra theme also so let's go down a little bit so there are lots of types of types of themes here okay so let me type astr astra okay so you can see that okay so this is the astra pro theme so this is the astra theme so you can simply install that theme this is a free theme they have their premium version also so let me install this theme first now as soon as the theme is getting installed we need to activate the theme okay so we have started uh, so we have installed the theme now let's uh, uh, refresh the domain so this is a basic layout of our website has created so this is the uh, this left side area is the logo area right side area there is a sidebar and in this area we will be providing the content so this way a basic layout has been automatically created or installed you can say this with the help of astra theme now next is we need to install a plugin called elementor so this is elementor website builder simply click on install now activate okay so our elementor plugin also has been 
installed now this is a plugin which has their free version as well as their uh, premium version so definitely premium version has lot of features but right now the free version is more than enough to create a desired website now after installing the elementor plugin what we will do we will now proceed to set up our website design so here you can see thank you for installing astra so here is a get started button so we'll click on get started now it is trying to activate the theme now next we need to come to the dashboard so here you can see welcome to starter templates okay so i've just faced few errors so i just simply refresh the dashboard and it is right now like that so what we need to do click on get started see the intention is to uh, pick a template now the template we will be picking uh, which will be supported with the help of elementor okay because those will give a very good professional look and design let's see let the templates uh, load first build your website now let's click on this now here they are asking us to select a what kind of page builder you need block editor elementor or beaver builder now we already installed elementor we'll se select elementor now here you can see we have option called all or premium okay uh, so this is premium so they are remaining all are free themes only now as per your choice what kind of website you want to create you can see there are already like lot of ready to use templates or designs are available so other than premiums you can use them if you have budget if you want to invest in elementor also you can buy elementor and then you can use this premium templates as well so let's say right now i'll uh, i'll be selecting this template so it is very easy to design a website with the help of elementor okay okay so you can see that in the left side logo so you can click here or you can upload a logo here if you so you can replace this outdoor adventure logo so let me click on skip and continue then there are options for change colors there are options for change font continue okay okay just one last step uh, they're asking us to provide some details so let's provide this information and click on submit and build my website so we are building your website so right now the website is getting created as per the template we have selected so you can see that congratulations your website is ready and it took just 29 seconds to build the website let me click on this view your website button so you can see that wow the entire website has been created like right now this way okay so now you can edit the entire website whenever you want as per your requirement this is very easy to edit you can simply edit click on edit with elementor simply click on this okay so now as soon as you click on this it will take you to the elementor editor so here it is very simple it's like your let's say i'll edit this one this is my first web site okay so this way there are lots of options so if you want to change the button you can click it and you can change it and the left side there are lots of elements you can check there are so many options are there so elementor itself is a very like big and vast chapter you need to learn it but as a beginner i will say that you can choose any of these templates and simply get the pre-built design and start working on your website or start working on your website content okay now if i refresh it so you can see that this is the title i have changed uh, simply scroll down and so you can see okay so this way entire website will be coming now now let's go to the dashboard area again when this theme is getting installed by default lots of pages are getting created so if you go to the pages area you can see that about contact home privacy project services couple of pages are already created now if you do not need any of the pages simply click on trash and they will get deleted and after creating all the important pages we want to show them in the top menu section now if i go to the website you can see there are already a menu is coming so how exactly the menu is creating you have to go to appearances then there is something called menu okay now you can create a new menu or you can see that already a menu has been created whatever uh, categories you want to delete you can like for for example let's say uh, projects you do not want to show you simply remove the projects you want to add something else let's say one post or let's one page simply click on services add to menu it will automatically edit so you can also drag and drop the 
items like this okay finally you just simply save it and it will get saved so let's say under the services i just just for example i'm showing you there is something called child child menu also so, so let me save it it's got, got saved simply i'll come here so you can see under the services there is another menu is coming services so this way you can do the basic things see there are a lot of things we need to do to design a website this this can be a huge video but i am just telling you as a beginner this thing you can do very very easily without taking help from anywhere so that's all in this video if you find this video useful feel free to like and share this video if you have any questions related to creation of a website related to wordpress related to hosting anything you just need to write a comment below and ask me that question i'll definitely help you by replying to that comment or else i'll create a dedicated video on that particular topic so see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye